What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to stop the run in Madden NFL 25 from the New York Jets, five sets for success. We talked about the cover three last time, and, 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 and that's kind of always something that I really like as a base formation, some type of inverted cover two defense. But in Madden, uh, especially in Madden 25, you need a little bit more uh, to, to really effectively shut down the run in this game. So what we're going to show you here is we're going to show you the uh, other run defense we like to use. And so it's, it's another prowl play. So it's from the 3-3-5 formation in the New York Jets playbook. And the play is uh, the prowl bear 2. And I really like this play against the run because I feel like it does a really good job with the blitzing linebackers of containing every kind of run that they could do. So what we want to do here is we want to base a line, shift our defensive line to the right, just like yesterday. We're also going to get the same exact pressure that we got. Uh, we're still going to get some pressure if they pass. But let's take a look here how it does at defending the run. And you see the corners are going to come off because they're underneath. And that works really well for the outside, containing the outside of the runs. The blitzing linebackers in the middle are going to do a nice job of containing the inside part of the runs. And so you see it does, it's, it's a decent run container. Um, and it's, it's fairly effective. If you want to, you could take like a safety and I like to, I personally would take this safety on this side down. And so they say they run, and then I just kind of get wide, get wide, and, and kind of fill the hole. And, of course, as soon as I try to start usering things, it all goes to crap because I, it's hard to user and play offense at the same time. But let's take a look here. So you see, you just get wide, get wide, get wide, and you see how the lanes are sealed up. Now, we're going to show you some adjustments that we're going to make with our roster uh, to make this run defense really effective over the course of the next couple of videos. But you see, you, you do a good job of getting those one-on-one -on -one assignments and uh, just trying to body it up and, and, and just really trying to muddy up the lanes for the runner. Those hook zones on the outside do a really nice job of containing the run to about three to four yards. And uh, that's why I like this so much. We'll show you really quickly. Uh, we'll show you get some different types of runs here. Uh, but it basically, um, there's a couple of different avenues that you can go about stopping like heavily you know blocking down on the run where you stop it like in the backfield but that's a little bit advanced stuff that i just don't have i, I don't feel conf confident in getting into it because it's a lot of detail and it's just a lot of usering and blowing up and things like that on runs like this where if you really want to stop it in the backfield here's what you would do you would come up here you would crash your line out you'd hold that r2 button and then you try to just get in the backfield and you see that we can stop the strong power but when you do that watch what happens watch what happens if you do that and then all of a sudden they say okay well i'm going to play action off the run so you're going to come in through here try to get through and then they're just going to bomb over the top of your head that's why i try to give you run defenses that are easier to use, slower, easier setups. And I just I'm just trying to give you a basic theory of how you would stop. So watch how this run this will contain the strong power because the safety will come over the top, make a tackle. Now we didn't get our our formation aligned right, so that was part of why they were able to fit the strong power in. Well let's take a look here. So if we're if we're gonna use our control Hayden, we want to stay back, stay back, stay back. Here they run the strong power. And you see that those corners are going to contain it to the edge. And then now let's take a look at it if they run it to the left side here. So we bring Hayden down like this. And that blitzer off the left side is going to blow up that run. And then we just kind of get wide with our user safety and try to muddy up the run the best we can. Uh, you know, part of run defense, guys, is user stick, is getting the safety involved. But, again, I, I don't feel confident in saying getting like right up here to stand over the center. Uh, especially because we're in a cover two. But you see how good this run uh, defense is against the inside run. I mean, we were seconds away from locking it up in the backfield right there. So let's take a look at this again here real quick. But you see it does a really nice job at the inside run, which I don't think a lot of run defenses focus on. I think they focus on the edges. And this one does really good against both because you're in a cover two, but you're blitzing in the middle of the field here. And if you bring your safeties up, it's just a really good run defense overall. Uh, because those, those corners will come off, guys, I'm telling you. Uh, you're not seeing as much as Praxima because I don't have the depth chart set up properly. But once we get the depth chart set up, guys are going to start block shedding really well for us. And uh, on strong power runs like this, if we're going to use her somebody, you know, it, it becomes even better. Because let's say we use her Hayden. All of a sudden, the strong power ride is going to be caged. If you watch this, you see that? Just caged by, by just getting the safety involved. So... Uh, 
that's really what I'm just trying, just trying to reiterate here is, you know, these power runs like the strong power, these really over-effective runs, you have to get the safety involved and you have to use your control. But when you do that, it makes your all-around run defense better and it makes your all-around game better. So I hope that this video showed you a little bit of how I can stop, how I use the 335 from the New York Jets playbook to stop the run in Madden 25. And again, if you have any questions or something that I maybe didn't cover as well, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thanks guys for watching and have a great day.